Okay, story time. Back earlier at the beginning of this year, or maybe was that last year? I genuinely don't know. I left my best friend's house and we were just hanging out and stuff and I went to go to a sewing store that I liked that was near her house. And on the way there, I just like heard a voice in the back of my head going, ask them how much a six nail machine is. That voice was the Holy Spirit, you know, God the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. And I was just like, why would I do that? Like, I know that it is like thousands of dollars and I do not have a hundred dollars. But I'm going to God, I'm going to listen. And so I get to the sewing store. I'm just like shopping around. I'm getting my thread and my stabilizer, you know, $30 worth of stuff. I get up to the register and I ask, I said, how much is a six needle machine? I'm trying to be obedient. They had been on the phone with brother all day trying to figure it out, see how much it was going to be. And they told me it was going to be $15,000. I said, right, because that's what I thought it would be naturally. And um, I was like, okay, great. Can I have my receipt now? I'm ready to go. And they said, actually, there's this older lady who comes in here quite often. She has two new machines. She's trying to get rid of her six new machine. She's selling it for $1,000. What? Stop. Shut the front door. Shut up. Hold the phone. Excuse me? And so I was like, can I get her contact information? They were like, oh, sure. Um, let me look her up in the system. I'll give you her phone number, whatever. I was like, this is not real life. A thousand dollars. And they were, I was like, what's the deal? Like, do you trust her? And they're like, oh yeah, she's amazing. I was going to buy the machine myself, but she has stairs in her house and I can't get anyone to help me bring the machine downstairs. Not a problem. You see these guns? That ain't no problem. I leave there. I go home. I'm talking to my dad and I'm like, dad, what the heck? And he's like, yeah, let's go. So I call her. She's like, oh yeah, thousand dollars. Here's the address. I go to the bank. I take out a thousand dollars in cash. I drive back home. My dad and I get in his truck. We drive to this lady's house within 30 minutes. This bad boy is in my car. Lesson number one for today. Listen to the Holy Spirit. Lesson number two, God cares about the small details of your life, including your business, so keep going. And that is for me to hear because life is rough right now and I am not feeling so confident about the things in my business. But this is a reminder that he cares about the things that I care about, including my business, and that if he gave me this vision, it can't fail. If he gave me this, because it's literally a gift, it cannot fail. And so today I'm going to break down all the amazing things that I got with this gift because I promise you this story does not stop here. I'm going to show you all the amazing things that Miss Norma, my girl, gave me with this machine and it is incredible. A thousand dollars! So stick around, it's going to be a really good video. Hello friends, it is Chelly. Welcome to my channel. If you're a new friend or an old friend, it doesn't matter. I'm so glad you're here. Welcome to a new video. Today I'm just going to break down everything that I got with this fabulous machine and some of the ins and outs and things that I can do with it and just pop in some videos of designs that I've made with each hoop size and things like that. I did a super deep clean yesterday of my entire craft room. Well, not the floors. It's too much stuff on the floor to do the floor, so I didn't do that. But I cleaned a lot of stuff, including these hoops. I feel very shameful in saying it was my first time cleaning these hoops, especially because they were extremely dusty when I got them, and the bin she gave them to me was like a filthy. However, we got it real clean because I was just in the cleaning mood, and now Old Plata is looking sparkly. Okay, first off, I got a six needle machine for a thousand dollars. Then she also gave me this stand, which I believe is about like 200 to 250 dollars by itself. I would have to get this kind of stand instead of putting it on a table because of this arm right here. This does not go on a table because the sweatshirt, like the item that you're embroidering, needs to fall off. Um, I don't think this would work well on a table. The stand is like perfectly made for it. Brother is kind of like Apple in that sense. Like you gotta get, it's really nice to like get their products to go with their things, you know, that kind of deal. So um, those were like really good finds, but then she gave me this entire bin of things and we're gonna go through the bin. All right, so this is the bin that I cleaned out yesterday. Let's see, put it up here. Here are my two, Two, eight by 12, 
I have done a full sweatshirt front on this. I have done a sweatshirt back on this before. Um, it is very easy to hoop because you have such a big sewing feel. If you've been to my channel before, you might know that I am like, I love efficiency. Like I love efficiency. And so having two hoops of every size helps me be super efficient so that while one stitching out, I can hoop the other one and just immediately put it on the machine without waiting for the first one to get done, to take the hoop off, to then put it on, and then we're wasting time. Don't like that, not a fan. So having two hoops of this size is perfect. And guess what, she gave me two hoops of every size. So I also have the two hoops of the five by seven. Love this size. I've done tote bags with this. Tote bags um, were super easy. I've also done just regular sweatshirts with this as well. It's great for that. So we have two five by seven, two four by four, or I've been working with this size hoop the longest is what I'm most comfortable with, but this five by seven and the eight by 12 are what I use the most often now. And then last but not least for your standard hoop sizes is a little baby. It says 2.4 by 1.6. This is really good for your sleeves, like wrist designs, like right here and things like that. Little baby is kind of fun. I just like looking at it, but yes. So two of every size, which is great. She also gave me this giant box of pre-wound white bobbin. Um, it says on here that she got this from sewingmachine.com, which is where I went and took this machine to get serviced when I got it and where I went yesterday, which that's really exciting. And I'm gonna tell you about it a little bit in a minute. She also gave me some machine oil just to put right here in the bobbin chamber, to put right here in the bobbin chamber whenever the machine turns on and ask you to just like oil it up a little bit. And then she gave me the original case that came with all the little fix-ins and tools and things like that. I have some here that I just keep on the machine. This is the one to thread the needle into the machine and this is the one to take the needle out. And so I keep those like on the machine, just right here. But this has clips in it. Which I just discovered yesterday when I was cleaning this out that I had clips. And these clips are amazing. They look like standard binder clips, but they are like bent <laughs> i thought it was by accident to keep the little prongs out of the way do you guys see what i'm talking about they're like bent um some extra pads for the spools of thread for a crap ton a crap ton of needles seam ripper i never use this i think it's to hold your thread child i don't know um these little things, also for thread, never use those. There's an extra screw. Yeah. Now, for the fun stuff. Does anyone know what this is? This is a hat scented driver? I learned this yesterday. I went to this place called Southeast Sewing or SewingMachine.com. Um, they're moving as far as soon as December 1st, 2022 to Alpharetta, but right now they're kind of in Midtown. Um, and I went there and they taught me how to use this hat hoop and I am beyond excited to learn how to use it because I've had it since I've gotten this machine, but I didn't know how to use it because Miss Norma just had all the pieces in here and I was like, hmm, that looks fun, but I'm busy. I want to say this is the driver. This is what kind of attaches to your table. So you're going to put this on your table and then you can like screw it up like that. And then this is what you're going to use to hoop your hats on. Okay. This is your actual hat hoop. As you can see, this part screws into the six needle machine. So you can take this baby arm, you can take this arm off right here and put this on. Sorry, I'm freaking out because knowledge is power, okay? Knowledge is also gonna make me money. And, okay? Oh. Un momento. Okay, this is the actual hat hoop. This is what the hat goes on. And so I use the driver and put the hat on the frame in the hat hoop. And then I put the hat hoop on the embroidery frame. 
It's so many pieces. It's so many pieces. It's a lot of moving parts. However, guess who didn't have to pay for it on? This piece alone, this, this driver, $350. Because I didn't take it with me when I went to the lesson. I just took the this. I took these two and then I have a second one of these because because the Lord is so good. I took this, this, and the, I took two of these and this. I feel like I'm playing the tambourine at church. When I think about Jesus, what he's done for me. Okay, I took these two. I put, I took this, this, and that. And I was like, they were like, oh, you need the other thing. And I was like, oh no, I don't know if I have that. They were like, okay, well, if you don't, you can go get it. It's gonna be like $350. I'm like, what? This entire set, let me let me just break it down for you. This entire set of these three pieces is $1,000 itself. Itself, babe, like what? And you're telling me I got it with my $1,000 machine? Let me just like, just put that into perspective. This is just one of the amazing, uh, 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 um, what am I talking about? Administments, uh, accomplishment, nope. Bonuses, mm. no, I want the A word. A amenities, I mean, uh, I'm thinking of amenities, but that still not work. This is just one of the benefits to this amazing, like, kit of awesomeness that I was given. This is a thousand dollars by itself. Think of how much all of these hoops cost. Babe, you can't tell me that it's not good. So I have everything that I need to make hats, and I have two of these hat hoops, but we're still not done. I have whatever these are, so if someone can let me know what the heck these are, that'd be greatly appreciated. Next. Fabulosity. This is a clamping hoop. Hold the phone. Okay, so same thing. Take this arm off, put this on. This, you would put your fabric in here like this and clamp it. You could just clamp it down. It's kind of tough, but you would just clamp it down. So then you can embroider anywhere on anything. It's very simple, but it has kind of like this nice like textured thing on the inside of here and on the inside of here to really hold your fabric and your stabilizer and then you could just go from there and hoop and embroider. Now the only thing that I've run into challenges with this which I know was my own fault was it like I broke my needle on this because it hit the frame. It, the only thing that it recognizes is the actual different like the different sizes and says okay like this one's too small for the design that you have uploaded. But um, it doesn't, it didn't recognize this. And so I learned yesterday that I need to trace my design to make sure that it's not gonna hit this frame and then I'll be good to go. So I have this one and I have a smaller one. Here's a closer look of what that texture pieces look like on these. They're pretty rough. So there you go. Just when you thought I was done, I have one more thing. I took this with me to the sewing store yesterday too. This is also a hat hoop, but they didn't quite know how to work it. And it looks very similar to my other one, but slightly different. And they kind of thought that it was a newer model, but also thought that it wouldn't work on my machine. Because it's like brand new, I'm assuming that Miss Norma didn't use it. Um, or couldn't use it and then it has some more of those little clips on there with all of that she also gave me every single documentation and paperwork that has ever come with this machine I've, I haven't gone through all of it but like um, every booklet every manual every service that it's ever gotten or anything like that so once I got it I did go and get it serviced with sewingmachine.com or Southeast Sewing for a $250 I'm $2,500 in and um, I regret nothing um, I love this machine it's done me very good I've been able to like gain confidence and do like a lot more complex designs with it and I just feel like a more well-rounded embroidery artist and that is a really good feeling with that being said, that's pretty much all that I have for today's video. I hope you guys enjoyed just seeing um, the incredible things that I've gotten. I'm still in shock every time that I look at this machine. And um, 
every time I tell this story to people, they just get goosebumps like I do. So <laughs> I just wanted to share with you guys to give you a glimpse into um, just the amazing things that can happen when you trust God. If you like some of the videos that I put up in the side of this video, I encourage you strongly to go follow me on Instagram to see me in Broder more often and to get more current updates on what I'm doing. For example, I bought some really exciting stuff. It is right there in that box and I have a really exciting video for you guys coming soon. I am embroidering hat soon. I ordered them yesterday. I know what design I'm going to put on them and I know how to hoop them now. So with that being said, be sure to subscribe, like this video, and turn on the notifications if you want to be notified when I post a new video, which is going to be about every other Sunday. I said, I'm Jelly. I hope you guys enjoyed this video and I'll see you later. You bought that?